Hi Virgo, welcome to your July 2017 general tarot reading. I almost said love reading because sometimes love creeps into these general focuses. Or is that, is that a word? You tell me Virgo, focus, fo foci. <laughs> um, yeah, so you never know what turns up here. Sometimes it's a very clear cut, uh, you know, emphasis. <laughs> There's your card. And I just pulled that for Leo. So maybe some of you are going to have Leo people in your lives. Since I picked that one. Okay. Let me just look at this for a second. <sighs> Let's see what's happening. Well, we have this focus of your card, the Hermit card. The Hermit is a spiritual seeker. And he holds a lantern because he's looking to what light his own way. He's not looking, you know, to the hierophants, to the clergy. He's looking within. You're doing some soul searching for some reason. So let's see why you're doing soul searching. In the past position, we have the Knight of Cups. I did get another sign who had this in the past position. I think it was Aries. And this is the quintessential knight in shining armor. Um, even in the upright position, I'm, I don't trust this guy sometimes. Sometimes it can be like a real like artistic soul, and they are not necessarily practical. They're just very artistic and maybe spiritual. And this is a great foil for a Virgo, perhaps because you're practical, you're an earth sign, and you, this, you know, let's say this guy, this guy is a Pisces. It's like you're um, opposite signs, so you complement one another, complementary signs, um, whatever. But sometimes I think that it's somebody pretending to be that so that you go with them. And... Virgo, you know, it's funny. Where did I read this? I, that's what happens when you read so much, is that you never remember where you read things. And by the way, you guys, I have Moon in Virgo, Sun in Sagittarius, Moon in Virgo. So I'm like a bookworm, and I'm sure you, you are too. But you like to amass practical information, not just trivia, okay? So I was reading about how... Virgos can have the, some of those qualities that we associate with Pisces, like the victim or the, I think I said this before and a Virgo person said I'm not a victim. It's, it's not like that. It's not like a Pisces tragic situation. It's more of a, Virgo is a servant, okay? It's more of the doormat, okay? It's not emo, okay? It's just being the doormat. Doormats are very, they're very like um, nondescript and non-emotional. They just sit there to be walked all over. <laughs> but that's because you're the servant. So you want to help people. But you have to have boundaries, don't you? And then you get this Knight of Cups person to come along. And it's like it could be game over emotionally because this person could sweep you off your feet. And it's very hard to sweep a Virgo person off their feet because they're worried about, you know, the, the germs on their feet. <laughs> they don't want, you know, to touch, you know, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make a, an OCD uh, Virgo joke. But um, you're capable of losing your head, you know, in romance, if the right person comes along. And if they are, if they write poetry, forget about because you love you love that, the written word, so they've got you if that was that, if that's what happened. 
Now, you may have been in a relationship with somebody like this. And so what this is right now is Six of Pentacles. Okay, there's the scales. Who's doing what? Who's giving what to whom? Is, I, you know, is this a fair relationship? Are you supporting a struggling, starving artist? And is this person, you know, I, I don't even like talking about this. I was going to say, is this person pulling their weight? You know, I don't believe in that in a lot of ways because how we contribute to relationships can be not measurable by dollars and cents. But you and I both know that in some cases it can be a situation where it's obvious that somebody is taking advantage of another person where they're not even respecting the relationship, but they still are benefiting from it. Um, in business situations, it could be like you asking for what you deserve. Maybe you've been working um, two people's jobs because the, they've decided to downsize, but they didn't upsize your salary. And they just think, oh yeah, you're gonna do that. You're gonna work one and a half times harder um, because we got rid of that other person. Yeah, what do you wanna do about it? Oh, you wanna be out on the uh, street? Okay. That's how some people think. And you might be like, well, I don't wanna lose my job, so I'm going to do this. Well, I think that you're going to do some soul searching and you're going to decide that you're not having it. And with uh, the Knight of Cups in that scenario, it's kind of like being seduced. Okay, somebody seduces you. And this could even be in the workplace. You know, it could even be a co-worker, a man under the age of 40 who is sucking up to you and getting you to do their work because they're very charming. Higher message. Um, Ten of Swords. Oh, by the way, that Knight of Cups could be even, even though it's not like, doesn't seem like a um, position of authority. It could, it could be like a uh, somebody who's actually your superior, who's younger than you, and they try to just like schmooze you to get you to do this stuff and you know flatter you. Um, the higher message, the spiritual message, is that you have been screwed by a person, by a business, and you know it. You know that um, you've been betrayed in some way. But it could be, and, it, and maybe you were supposed to get something. Let's say you were doing contract work, and you got screwed out of the money um, that you were supposed to get. And I'm sorry for the vulgar language, if that offends anyone. I just, I can't think of a better way of putting it. Um, with that Six of Pentacles, it's like, sometimes it can be you giving other, per, giving someone a handout because you have the money to help somebody financially. But that could be in the realm of relationship. You, you know, you may have gotten in a relationship with someone who was, you felt like, oh, well, they're getting on their feet and blah, 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 and I'm going to help them. And it's like, there's nothing wrong with helping people in life. That doesn't mean that you're being taken advantage of. But you realize at some point that you are, that you were being taken advantage of. Maybe it was in a romantic relationship and you found out the person was cheating on you. And you're like, oh, I get it. So... I, I'm good enough to take money from, but I'm not good enough to stay loyal for you to, to be loyal to. And that kind of thing can really sting. What crosses you is the, you know, this is the challenge, is the hierophant. Um, in, like, if this was a, a marital situation, then this could be like you refusing to, to leave that because you have this conditioning that you have to stay in that situation, that that's what it's all about. Um, it can be a Taurus person who is doing this to you. 
The Hierophant can also be about your materialism, your lack of being the hermit and, and looking within. Maybe you are doing this now, but you didn't do it then. You were too into whatever that was providing, whether it was a relationship where you had this amazing sexual chemistry and that was good enough to move you along for a while, keep you satisfied for a while, and then it you kind of realize that it wasn't adding up. Or in, in the business world, just by being afraid of um, making waves and asking for what you're worth, you stayed in that situation because you didn't want to lose a job. Now, I'm not saying it's materialistic to not want to, to being, to, to wanting to be able to pay your rent or mortgage. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying like the overly cautious nature can be because of this over emphasis on, you know, the material financial security. The advice is the Queen of Cups which is about, it's kind of like the, the, the hermit card. This is a double feminine energy, very intuitive. Um, in some cases, it can be like overriding your intellect, seeing, you know, sensing how do you feel? How do you feel in this situation? Whatever the situation is, go by your feelings, your hunches. If, if, if a situation is making you feel bad, there's a reason. And, and it definitely would behoove you to pay attention to your feelings, your dreams. Um, maybe you have a dream that kind of illuminates your situation very clearly. And yet, you don't know if you should trust your dreams. Well, if it's apropos to your situation, absolutely, you should trust it. And then the outcome is the temperance card. This is about achieving that balance again in your life. Notice how it's right under that six of pentacles with the scales. You are pentacles, Virgo. You are a sign that is all about the practical, tangible things in life. So um, sometimes, you know, you don't even need to be a queen of cups to realize when something is working and when it's not. If it's, if you're working hard and not making much money, then it's imbalanced. If you are supporting someone financially and they are living an irresponsible life, you're not helping them to be who they need to be. So that's imbalanced for them. And it's imbalanced for you because you're not getting the benefit of a relationship. The, one of the beautiful things about relationship is the interdependence. Okay. Um, but I was actually thinking of another word. I can't, I think it was co something, but where you benefit from them and they benefit from you in some way. And it's not about that ledger, that blasted ledger, that, that um, bookkeeping, where you're keeping books on what you did, what they did. I'm not talking about what they bought you and what you bought them. I'm talking about what they provide to your life. If they nourish you, and it's a very, it's not a tangible thing. So you're going to have to just tune into the Queen of Cups to understand this. It's, it's like immaterial. It means that it's something very subtle that a person gives you that makes you more than you were. They add to your life in some way, is what I'm trying to say. Only you can know that. And the same thing with career. I mean, it's the exact same thing. It's not about how much money you make. Maybe some people make very little money, but they feel incredibly nourished. And they can live a frugal life. They can, like, pare down their expenses in order to have freedom, in order to have, uh, live a life of passion. That's good enough for them to live a stress-free life. 
that is worth more than making six figures for some people, okay? So it's all about balance. Okay, so anyway, Virgo, I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. I have love, career, combination, life path readings, natal chart interpretation. I have a sale on those right now. Um, and the link will take you to RainaMoonAstrology.com. I wish you all the best in July. Bye.